Hi there and welcome to another Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial. So in the last tutorial we had made this shape and uh, now we are going to make a, a bolt that we could put through this um, with a thread on it and a countersink. So let's get on with it. Um, we'll start by uh, creating a sketch as usual. So we'll choose the bottom here and we'll go and look at that surface and we'll get a circle origin in the middle there, in the center and we'll drag this out, we'll make it let's say 21 uh, in diameter and I'll go to finish sketch and we'll hide our main body here we'll grab hold of this new sketch that we just made And you'll see that because of the thread shape, we have to select two parts. The sketch actually has another line on it. Um, so we select both of those, and then we can extrude this backwards. So we'll go to extrude. Select those two surfaces, and we'll drag them up. Now. Before we hit enter or get carried away, you'll see that this is red. That means that it's going to be cutting. Now, if we were to cut this, I'll show you what happens. It will cut a hole and our thread disappears. So let's go back. And what we actually want to do is create a new body. So again, we'll select these surfaces, extrude this up, and we change cut to new body instead. Okay. Now we've done that, um, what we will do now is create another sketch on the top here. And we'll make a circle, center point, and we'll drag it out to be the same width as our um, countersink there. Now, if we want to see or what the diameter of that is, we can select it, and we'll see our radius is 15, so our diameter will be 30. So we want to make this the same when we um, drag our circle out on the top here, we want this also to be 30. So place our center point and we drag it out to exactly 30 and hit enter and finish sketch. Now again, we will get our extrude tool and we're going to extrude this down to an exact point, which will be bottom there. So if we hide the body and we choose this edge as best we can, we'll have to zoom in. We want to choose this edge here as where we're going to extrude to. And we want to go to join. Make sure that body is hidden so we don't want to join the two bodies together. So now I have this funny looking shape here. It looks like a peg. Um, next thing we'll do then is we will extrude this down to this top surface, which will be cut. So now we have kind of a boltish looking shape okay um, still not great yet but uh, it's getting there and we'll extrude this down a little bit further now we're going to subtract one from the other um, so the way we do that is we go up here to combine and we select our target body and our tool body so our target body is going to be the bolt and our tool body that's going to do the cutting will be this other surface um, our object that we made earlier and we're going to choose cut and we'll keep our tools and deselect new component. So now when we go OK, if we now hide our original body, you'll see we now have this threaded countersunk shape that fits perfectly inside of our other shape there. So this would um, screw in. Now we need to make a, a slot in our countersunk head. So again, we'll go to sketch. And the way we'll create this is I will draw a uh, line and we'll say we'll bring that out 10 millimeters this way and 10 the opposite. And now we go to offset. We'll offset by one millimeter. And again, Oops, edit the sketch again. 
um, offset by one millimeter in the opposite direction. And we can delete the center line, we don't need it anymore. And we join those ends up like so. Finish sketch, extrude, down two millimeters, that would be negative two, and cut. And we'll set a taper angle of, let's say, uh, minus three degrees. Make it a bit more, minus five degrees, so it tapers in a little bit. And OK. And there we now have our slot in the top of our screw thread there. So now we have our uh, threaded screw that fits exactly into our other object here. And uh, now we can apply, so let's say, different materials to these. Uh, we covered this in other tutorials, but we select that, we go to appearance, and we could drag a different type of material onto there. So let's say we'll make this out of brass. That's polished, and we'll make our screw out of stainless steel, satin steel, like so. And uh, so there we go. That is um, how we create a, a threaded bolt or screw that fits perfectly inside there. Now, if you want to check, uh, we can go to a section view. Uh, if we go to inspect, uh, we can uh, first of all check for interference. So we can check our two objects and um, compute if they have any interference at all. So no interference detected. That means they fit together perfectly and nothing is intersecting which is a useful um, tool to have. And also if we go to inspect and we go to section analysis, if we choose the vertical plane there, go to OK, you see it now gives us a section view through our object. And we can see um, how our thread fits basically perfectly inside there. Now if we create these two bodies into components, like so, You'll see each component is now shaded differently, and you can see in the section view things are a lot clearer, and we can hide one component or the other and see what the inside of our object actually looks like. So there we go, we've created a um, sketch, and we've lofted it, and then we've created a hole, and we threaded the hole, uh, countersunk the top, and now we have created a screw that would fit into that hole. So I hope you found this uh, short tutorial useful. Um, as always, subscribe to the channel and check the video links um, below and you can find this uh, Fusion 360 uh, project file you to download and take a look at yourself. And if you want, you can uh, open it up and you can play back this timeline and it will show you each of the steps that we've gone through in order to create this object. So thanks very much and I'll see you next time.